Hello everybody, what's happening? You are here on nzblokes.co.nz. I am Dave and have we got a treat for you this week. We are taking a closer look at the latest in the critically acclaimed Batman series of games from those blokes over at Warner Brothers Games. It is Batman Arkham Origins. You are placed in the stompy boots of the Cape Crusader on Christmas Eve and launched into the game on the heels of Black Mask. He has just broken into Blackgate Prison in order to bust out a fellow criminal, due for execution that very evening. This acts as the catalyst for the story arc of the game, and from here it gathers pace and sets up a rich and exciting plotline that will grab you and lead you down a veritable rabbit warren of twists, turns, and I did not see that coming moments. It is very well done. Now one thing that you will notice early on in the game is that you are playing a younger, more edgy Batman. Arkham Origins serves as a prequel to the other two games in the series. It is a dark time in Gotham's history. Criminal influences are rife on the streets and a large amount of the city's police force are on the take. The Dark Knight is not afraid to seriously rough criminals and corrupt police force members up in order to get the information that he needs to uncover the mystery surrounding the events that take place on that fateful Christmas Eve. Now, talking of roughing people up, you'll find the combat system to be the same free flow formula as in previous Batman games. This has always provided interesting and varied ways to dispatch the criminal hoods of Gotham, so it makes sense that the developer would stick with this well understood and mechanically tight method of dealing with your foes. A new element is that you are graded after every encounter, whether it be a fist fight or a predator scene where you stalk your enemies unseen from the rooftops. You're graded from rank S down to D, so you'll always know if you're dispatching thugs effectively. This naturally adds up to experience, and new Wayne Tech items become unlocked for use. You'll find that once you're into this game, there are literally dozens of ways to take down bad guys. And when you get that satisfying moment of taking out a room full of hoods without ever being seen, you really will feel like a bona fide badass. And that's exactly how it should be. Another new game mechanic is the case file system. As you make your way around Gotham City, you'll hear crimes being reported over the police radio, or walk in on undiscovered crime scenes. You'll be able to investigate the scene and reconstruct the crimes using your detective vision to scan evidence and build out a picture of what nefarious deeds took place to result in the death of an innocent. These scenes are well built, well spaced out, and provide an interesting game mechanic which nicely breaks up the combat and exploration segments of the game. Gotham City itself is a very substantial playground. The entire game takes place over Christmas Eve and into the wee hours of Christmas Day. This makes for a very atmospheric experience. You really do feel like a predator as you move between the rooftops, kicking ass and taking names. Fortunately, you are able to use the Batwing vehicle to fast travel between the districts, but you must first take out the radio jammers dotted around the city before the Batwing can drop you into that area. This serves as just one of the many side missions and challenges that you will encounter on your adventures, and you will never find yourself shy of things to do. If you've played the previous two Batman games, you'll find quite a lot of this game to be familiar. The city layout is very similar to the second game, and the basic combat mechanics haven't really changed since the first one. This is not a bad thing, however. This game feels like an evolution of the existing games, adding polish to something that was already very shiny indeed. All in all, this game is well worth the money that you will spend on it. It has a rich and substantial single player game, and an equally rich and substantial multiplayer experience tied to it. If you have played any of the previous games, this is an essential addition to your collection. If you're new to the Batman games, this is an excellent launch point for your adventures in Gotham City. This is a 9 out of 10 from me. Thanks for listening blokes, this has been Dave.